Hi, I'm Jake, and in here, I've got a brain tumour. I've got a quiz for you. What do all these words have in common? Um, they have lots of letters? Yeah, they do, don't they? But the correct answer is... Drum roll, please. <laughs> They're all chemotherapy medicines. Chemo fights brain tumours. Come and face me, tumour. Ha ha ha. Come and meet Captain Chemotherapy. I'm about to start chemo. What's going to happen? Should I be scared? No, that it's not easy. You've got to be brave. It starts with your doctors. They talk about your age. Your size. Your health. And what type of tumour you have. Your doctor will then choose which medicine to give you. How do I take it? There's two ways. You swallow it. This is called oral chemo. Or it's fed in your body. This is called intravenous chemo. Can I choose? No, that's the doctor's job. With oral chemo, you'll be given a drink or pills. You can take these at home. Your mum and dad will play doctor. The pills can be hard to swallow and taste disgusting. But a sweet makes the taste go away. Well done. Intravenous chemo is taken in two ways. A drip is when a little tube called a cannula is put into your hand or arm using a needle. A nurse does this at the hospital. That looks scary. Does it hurt? Nope. You're given a cream to rub on first. It numbs your skin so you can't feel anything. Once the cannula is in, you'll be hooked up to your medicine. As the medicine goes in, you can do something fun. Play a game or watch a film. You can even eat and drink. When the bag's empty, the little tube in your hand or arm is taken out. Forever? No, just until your next chemo. For an injection, you need a tiny tube put in called a line or a wiggly. That's what my doctor calls it. <laughs> <laughs> to get a wiggly, you go to hospital. The nurse gives you a medicine. It makes you fall asleep. And when you wake up, you'll have a wiggly. There are different types of wiggly. I've got a central line. Do you want to see? Oh, yes, OK. The wiggly stays in me, even when I'm not at hospital. Are you ready, Jake? Yep. Your nurse must wash your hands first. This is how my medicine is injected. Are you scared? No, not now. At first I was. I didn't want a central line. But now he's my friend. He's helping me to get better. How long do I need chemo for? It depends. Everyone is different. Maybe three months. Maybe a year. Every day? Maybe. Your doctor will decide. You might need time off from school. And if one of your friends is ill, you shouldn't see them until they're better. All finished, Jake. You can go now. Yay, home time. Oh, I feel sick. It's a side effect of chemo. What's a side effect? It's an unwanted illness. You might get tired, catch lots of cold, or lose some of your hair, like me. But it's okay. You can wear a really cool bandana or a wig until your hair grows back. Will I get a side effect? Maybe, maybe not. Everyone's different. You see, it's not too bad, just a bit weird. Thanks, Jake. I know what to expect now. No worries. See you soon. Bye, Jake.